and welcome to TV Cruise Channel's A to Z of Cruise Lines. In this program, we'll take you on board some of the most popular cruise lines to give you a flavour of ship life and allow you to decide which line is right for you. So, let's start at the beginning. A is for Azamara Club Cruises. Azamara describe themselves as providing an upmarket voyage for discerning travellers. They have chosen to take guests cruising in destinations very much off the beaten track, taking the path less trodden if you like. On board, it's a decadent affair. Butlers tend to your every need. Bespoke food and fine wines are served from two specialist restaurants. In fact, the cuisine actually mirrors your journey. The fleet is small in that there are just two ships, Azamara Quest and Journey. Both have benefited from an investment of more than $17 million. With such high levels of comfort, it's little surprise that 93% of staterooms have an ocean view and 68%, a private veranda to enjoy both sunrises and sunsets. With destinations including Asia, South America and the West Indies, Shore excursions are a must. There are also nights in port, or at the very least, extended stays. This gives you the chance to mingle with the locals and soak up a different culture. In short, the perfect choice for couples. Carnival In contrast, our next featured cruise line is a very different one altogether. It's all about the entertainment. Carnival Cruise Line boasts a relaxed, family oriented atmosphere on its self-proclaimed fun ships. Camp Carnival makes sure that cruisers from 2 to 17 are kept busy around the clock, whether that be on board the water parks, movie theatre, gaming centres or during live shows. Now the fun doesn't stop when you step foot on land either, with local experts in the likes of the Bahamas, Panama, Bermuda and Canada. Booking onto a shore excursion couldn't be easier. From snorkelling to Mexican dance shows, you are guaranteed an action-packed cruise with Carnival. With over 20 across their fleet, accommodation options range from interior, ocean view, balcony suites or penthouse suite staterooms. Juicy steak, sushi, lobster and a New York deli are just some of the tempting dining options. There's no need for a bow tie here. To sum up, a great choice for families and people who like to live life to the full. Celebrity Cruises Next up, and it's the cruise line that presents your evening dining options to you, not on a menu, but on an iPad. That gives you a clue to the fact that Celebrity Cruise Line like to do things differently. That's what they pride themselves on, cruising in modern luxury. Formed in 1989, it's one of the newer operators on the market. In three words, Celebrity described themselves as chic, modern and sophisticated. Dining is a big part of the celebrity experience. They will even provide you with a picnic basket to be eaten on the ship's real grass lawns. Wine is also one of their specialities, with a team of sommeliers on hand to recommend the most appropriate vintage to accompany your meal. Shows are a lavish affair, with high production values and stunning special effects. When it comes to your choice of accommodation, it's a quiet affair. Maybe you will opt for a celebrity stateroom. 80% offer an ocean view and 74% private balconies with 24-hour room service. Their own innovation, the Celebrity Network, uses the latest in-room technology to allow you to check out shore excursions, watch movies and book beauty treatments. Very much a cruise for grown-ups who like things just so. Cruise and Maritime Voyages Next, it's a British cruise line offering traditional, leisurely cruising. Cruise and Maritime Voyages pride themselves on only sailing from UK ports, making regional sailings a reality for many. No longer do you need to live within commuting distance of Southampton. This is an important consideration if you don't do flying. The fleet of smaller ships enable them to navigate waters that the larger liners simply can't manage. With between 700 and as many as 1,200 guests on board at one time, you're sure to make new friends. Cuisine tends to be traditional British, European, and afternoon tea is a mainstay. There's lots to do, from board games to the library. The captain's cocktail party and an informative enrichment programme are just a few of the highlights included within the price. They will even transport your luggage from dockside to your cabin via their free portage service. Cabaret is a big part of any getaway with Cruising Maritime. 
If you are not a big drinker, you'll be pleased to know that self-service tea and coffee is available around the clock. From just three nights, ranging to an impressive 54-night cruise, it's a small fleet that packs a big punch on the international stage. Itineraries include Norway's fjords, St. Petersburg, the Arctic and Iceland. To sum up, a traditionalist dream and a good choice for a first-time cruise experience. Cunard Line Next, it's the Grand Old Lady of Cruise Lines, a company who've notched up well over 150 years of navigating the world's oceans. It's a mix of proud heritage and everything the modern-day cruiser desires on Cunard Cruise Line. Each vessel within the fleet is five-star. Think beautiful works of art, sparkling chandeliers, polished wood and plush carpets. Many describe Cunard as offering timeless elegance. Queen Elizabeth is the newest in their fleet, having entered service in 2010. The three queens, as they are known, are completed by both Queen Mary II and Queen Victoria. Queen Mary II even holds the accolade of having the only planetarium at sea. Dining is always a decadent affair, whether that be in the Queen's or the Princess Grail. These a la carte eateries offer an unrivaled dining experience, complete with white gloved service. Children are well looked after in the kids zone, allowing you to take in a show, dance to a live band or enjoy one of the many guest lecturers who periodically join sailings. Cunard have even introduced a facility for your pet pooch. No longer do you have to leave them at home when you set off on your holiday. There are a small number of kennels now available. If you really want to push the boat out, why not book into one of the most luxurious Britannia class of stateroom? In short, when we think cruises, we think Cunard. Fred Olsen Cruise Lines With four ships in its fleet and a commitment to sail from as many regional UK ports as possible, it's little wonder that Fred Olsen Cruise Lines gets so many repeat bookings. Fred Olsen's ships are smaller than their competitors. This makes them attractive to people who like personal touches. Waiters strive to remember your name and how you like your meat cooked. They are the self-proclaimed friendliest fleet afloat. Whether it's dining from the buffet or taking part in one of the most formal evenings, food is one of the major pulls. As is the entertainment, it's all geared towards a British market. It's traditional cruising. There are plenty of comfortable places to take afternoon tea. There's a library, onboard hairdressers and, of course, shopping. Included within the price of your holiday is daily morning coffee with biscuits and afternoon sandwiches and cake. A one-off gala buffet and in-room snacks around the clock. Shows are nightly and include the types you'd see in any major city around the UK. Cabins are basic, but they have everything you need. After all, who wants to spend time away from all that great food and entertainment? The pools are heated, so in use all year round. Our verdict, excellent value for money, with a smile. Holland America Line. From the charms of smaller ships to a mid-sized fleet now. We can trace this company's heritage back to the transportation of families emigrating to the new world. These days, it's all about the five-star experience, rather than the practical journey. Dress is smart casual, but dress to impress at least once a week. Levels of service are something that Holland America Line hold as one of their key values. There is almost one member of crew per two passengers. The fleet features traditional wraparound teak decks. There are private verandas and rambling staterooms, should you be in the market. A stateroom can be up to 25% larger than standard. Someone somewhere counted more than 500 different types of food during a seven-day cruise. It's white starched tablecloths, fine china and fresh cut flowers. The little extra touches are things that you will remember from your cruise. Club Hal looks after junior cruisers while you sip a cocktail poolside. Half Moon K is the line's very own private island in the Bahamas. In short, you could too walk in the footsteps of Robinson Crusoe and a palm-fringed beach with Holland America Line. MSC Cruises MSC are somewhat of a hybrid, blending European charmers with Italian elegance with a modern twist. With a marriage like that, you'd expect the food to be good, and it is. From freshly ground coffees to handmade ice creams, MSC also hold excellent green credentials surrounding engine emissions. They are a company with a conscience. With itineraries ranging from Europe, Canada, the Caribbean, 
and South Africa, the destinations offered by MSC are only set to increase with the addition of new ships. Both staterooms and suites are available with balconies, sitting rooms and private verandas. Each ship has several restaurants, the main dining room offering a mouth-watering seven-course menu. Each night, head chef cooks up an Italian regional delight. Fresh fish, pasta, crepes and decadent desserts are in abundance. Cabaret, gaming, live bands, a casino and DJs are on offer every night of the week. For night owls, the bars are open late, serving bespoke cocktails and a fine selection of wines, beers and spirits. For those booked onto a shore excursion on the next morning, it's off to your comfortable, well-appointed accommodation. A cruise with Italian charms and European flair. Stay tuned as your TV cruise channel's A to Z of Cruise Lines continues after this break. Welcome back to TV Cruise Channel's A to Z of Cruise Lines, where we're guiding you through a showcase of the most popular cruise lines. Next, we take a trip with the line that introduced the world to a concept known as freestyle cruising. They are, of course, Norwegian Cruise Line. It's modern cruising for a new generation, with the ultimate in flexibility for dining. There are no rigid meal times, and you choose when and where to eat. Of course, there are the hot buffet restaurants, all included within the price paid. However, it would be a shame not to eat your way around the world and discover new taste sensations via the excellent choices on board. There is a mouth-watering selection, from Italian to Japanese, Mexican, burger joints, grills and everything else in between. The dress code is much more relaxed than that observed by the more formal lines. Their ships visit more than 120 ports of call. So really, there isn't much of the world not served by NCL. A great choice for families. The question is not what is there to do, but it's more like what can we fit in today? Modern, light, bright and airy are just a few of the words to sum up your accommodation options. Interconnecting cabins make things easier for families. A rock climbing wall, water parks, bowling, cinemas and mini golf only serve to add to the fun. Funky works of art are on show throughout the ships, as well as their signature design pieces which adorn all of the NCL hulls. In essence, it's the cruise for people who don't do cruising. P&O Cruises A British line that dates back to 1837. P&O Cruise Line have been taking generations of cruisers across the globe and they've never been more popular than now. They are the largest in Britain and geared towards a homegrown market. Three pin plugs are found in all staterooms so you can take your favourite devices on holiday without the need for clumsy adapters. Southampton is the line's spiritual home, with more than 200 destinations serviced worldwide. Breathtaking atriums, stunning dining rooms, glitzy theatres and pools with retractable roofs, making swimming a year-round affair, no matter what the weather. P&O have worked with some of the UK's top award-winning chefs to present a contemporary menu that's sure to delight. If you like your food with a bit of a kick, try Atul Kocha's onboard restaurant. P&O are famed for their entertainment and themed cruises. From dancing TV favourites to guest celebrities and speakers, there's always something exciting planned. Staterooms are well appointed and as always are graded accordingly. From the very grand to the less fussy, there are many options to choose from. Decor is refined, making for pleasant days spent at sea. There are plenty of nights in port too, meaning you can explore the locality at your leisure. Afternoon tea is a particular highlight, as is the whole home-away-from-home home feel of the ships. They cater well for children, but also offer adult-only cruises too. Our thoughts, all of your favourites and much more, but in the sunshine. Princess Cruises A five-star American cruise line. Princess Cruise Line have been welcoming passengers for over 50 years now. They are the inventors of Movies Under the Stars. And the innovation does not stop there. Attention to detail is key. When it comes to dining, all sources are made fresh on board. There are no bottles or ready-made condiments here. 
Dining is either by traditional thick seating or more informal restaurant style, anytime dining. You can now eat 24-7, if you fancy, thanks to a relaxing of service times and the opening of cafes and pizzerias. Global chefs will present vibrant themed evenings, such as French and Italian. If you just fancy something simple, it's there for you. Or if you want to don a bow tie and a black dress, there's a formal arrangement for you too. Princess offer more staterooms with balconies than any other line. Beds are comfortable and decor classic. Fridges come as standard, as do chocolates on the pillow and a nightly turndown service. More affordable inside and outside cabins are also available, depending on your budget. Shows are of a Broadway standard. Comics, live bands, piano lounges and discos can also be found on board a princess cruise. The Caribbean is their speciality, although they do cruise Europe and Alaska too. In short, it's luxury cruising, but not at all stuffy. Regent Seven Seas We stay with luxury cruising now. In actual fact, a line who cater for the ultra-luxury market. Regent Seven Seas cover 300 ports across six different continents. The emphasis very much on exploration. Ships are smaller. Think hundreds rather than thousands. The line position themselves as providing ultra-luxury with all-inclusive value. So, what's this all about then? Well, gratuities, non-alcoholic drinks, wine with meals, an in-suite bar and inclusive shore excursions set Regent apart from the pack. Seven Seas Mariner, Voyager and Navigator all offer an unforgettable guest experience. They have the highest ratio of staff to passengers. Mariner was the world's first all-suite, all-balcony ship. The largest suite is a staggering 2,000 square feet and rivals any six-star hotel on land. Walk-in wardrobes, gleaming marble baths and in-room entertainment come as standard. Venturing out of your suite and Parisian-inspired menus are served in exclusive settings. La Veranda, Compass Rose and a speciality steak grill are just some of the dining options. You can dine in the comfort of your suite with a 24-hour butler service. Mouth-watering cuisine is only a phone call away. In short, it's the kind of life we dream of and you deserve it. Royal Caribbean International Next, a cruise line offering the largest ships that have the feel of a floating resort. Royal Caribbean International have included so much within their price structure, from rock climbing walls, ice skating, bumper cars, flow rider surf simulation and the zip line. You'll never be bored, but on the other hand, there's no pressure to take part. Great for families and groups of friends, the company are eager to please and make your stay a memorable one. Their own concept of gold anchor service means staff will go the extra mile to meet your requirements. Private staterooms inside and out, with or without a balcony, loft apartments, the choice of accommodation is endless. The Royal Promenade is a great place to meet for pre-dinner drinks. Make sure you catch the nightly parade. From fine dining to the more relaxed signature Johnny Rockets burger joint, the possibilities are endless. Children between the ages of 3 and 17 are welcomed at the Kids Club. Dietary requirements are always catered for. The Windjammers Cafe is a relaxed affair, while steakhouses, pubs, Italians, Asian and just about everything else can be found on board. With pools aplenty, nightly shows, casino and disco, you will never be short of something to do. Our thoughts, it's a resort on the ocean wave. You'd have spent a fortune on this were it a land-based holiday. Seaborn. If you opt for all-inclusive, quality, small cruise ships, then our next company is one you'd probably like to consider. Seaborn Cruise Line is a luxury affair, with well under 500 guests on even their largest offering. Seaborn's ships feel more like private yachts, with the exclusivity to match. Complimentary bars, open-seated dining, massages, pampering and sunshine all comes as standard. However, there's nothing standard about this line. Cruises vary between 4 and 14 days and much of the world features. It's intimate, it's sociable, making it a great cruise line for solo travellers wanting to mingle and meet like-minded folk. Even the hot chocolate is gourmet.
Some of the highlights include the Caribbean, Europe, Hawaii, New Zealand, the Panama Canal, South America and more. Five-foot picture windows and balconies provide a first glimpse of land from the opulence of your suite. Down and feather pillows ensure a perfect night's rest. Rose petals are sprinkled on your bed, all adding to the feel of decadence. Lunch and dinner include complimentary fine wines across five different venues. Room service is 24-hour and also inclusive. Cocktail parties, a well-equipped health club and poolside beauty treatments are also available. Children are not catered for on Seabourn. In essence, it's a cruise for grown-ups who enjoy the finer things in life. And why not? Thompson Cruises. Finally, it's Thompson Cruises. Ultra family friendly, they are often the choice of first time cruisers due to their value for money and UK based sailings. Thompson Cruises sail in the Mediterranean in the summer, Red Sea and Canary Islands in the winter months. Cuisine on board is varied with a strong emphasis on local dishes, so no need to try your hand at local restaurants as all you need is on board. Singers, shows and comedians form the entertainment, as well as discos and live bands. Cost-conscious cruisers may want to pre-book an all-inclusive drinks package to avoid a barbell at the end of the cruise. Thompson sail to nearly 100 destinations, and a figure at which is only set to rise over the next few years. Accommodation comes in different price brackets, the most affordable being an inside cabin, to the most expensive balcony stateroom. Our view, a great choice for families and first-time cruisers. Children are well catered for on board. And that wraps up our A to Z of cruise lines. We hope this guide has given you an insight into the range of different cruise lines currently sailing the oceans of the world. Whether you opt for value for money, family break or an ultra-luxurious adult-only affair, you can be sure that there's a cruise line tailored to your needs. Cruising is the fastest growing type of holiday. It's little surprise when you consider all the options that we've covered during this comprehensive guide to cruise lines. From the far-flung adventure of a lifetime to a quick getaway from a port near you, the possibilities are endless, limited only by your own imagination. Look out for more of our handy cruise guide programmes here on your TV Cruise channel.